Okay, today we're looking at upgrading computer memory, and in this particular PC, I see that I have one stick of RAM. It may be kind of hard because it's so slim, and I've got four or four total slots. Three of them are open. These three are open right here. I've got two with white tabs and two with black tabs. When I go to upgrade memory, I know that I want to put them in in pairs to get the best performance. So if I put another stick in here, I'd want to put one in the white tab. If I put two more, I'd want to put them matching in the black tab. Now, uh, the hardest way to find out what kind of memory to put in our PC is to do it the way I'm showing you right now. We open up our PC, we read the serial number on the motherboard or the model number on the motherboard, and we go and Google it, and we find out what kind of motherboard it is, and then we go to the motherboard's website, and we find out what kind of memory it takes. Uh, that would be the most difficult way. The second most difficult way would be to just simply push down on our tabs here, pop out our memory, and hope that our memory module it actually says what kind of memory it is and in this case it does say what kind of memory this says it is one gig of DDR2 PC25300 and if we looked up that on Newegg we would very easily find uh, the matching memory to this module to double our memory up to two gig by putting a second one in there uh, so this one does say the kind of memory on there that is um, uncommon I'll be honest, a lot of times it's very hard to tell what kind of memory it is. Uh, and the third way is the subject of our next video. When I go to put this back in, I want to make sure that the notch here matches up with the little notch there. This is, in fact, the wrong way. I have to flip this over to make the notches match up. And then I just set the memory back down in there. It's in the, in the uh, motherboard uh, correctly. And now I have to go and push it in. And the way I do that is to put my thumb on either edge of this and I kind of have to put my weight on there and when I push it in it snaps and these two white t locks came in on their own and locked on the motherboard it doesn't come in or out very easily I do need to make sure I put the weight on there but before I do that you can see the little notch out right there that goes through all four of these I need to make sure that little notch on the memory matches the notch correctly on the motherboard before I try to press it in there so that's one of the ways we can um, find out what kind of memory we have is by opening it up, reading the information that's inside it. Subject of the next video is the easier way to do the same thing.